government of India felt the need of an efficient, safe, reliable and economical public transport system for social, economic and overall development of the country. The Road Transport Corporation Act 1950 was enacted by the Parliament and SRTC came into existence to tie with the unorganized, private-dominated transport system. The SRTUs conceived a common platform for collective bargaining, a standard procurement system, a trusted source for supply of spare parts and a nodal agency for redressal of regional issues with the central government and several departments of the Government of India and abroad. Thus created the Association of State Road Transport Undertakings, which was formed by the members who are the chief executives of State Road Transport Undertakings. The Association of State Road Transport Undertakings is an apex coordinating body of all state road transport undertakings. The Secretary, Road Transport and Highways, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Government of India is the ex officio president of ASRTU. The Association of State Transport Undertakings, which is the coordinating body for all member state transport undertakings, has to assume more responsibility in terms of bringing common problems of the state transport undertakings to the notice of the ministry and government in general. Latest technologies such as GPS-based vehicle tracking system, computerization reservation system, automatic fare collection system, electronic ticket vending machines, intermodal fare integration and passenger information systems. This is the time for huge challenges uh, not only with other forms of transportation but also from the private sector. The state transport undertakings have to introspect and to identify areas of weakness and to address these areas of weakness. The impact of bus service should be such as to win the trust of the population being transported. The state transport undertakings should make people feel that they are here for their timely and convenient transport needs and to ensure safe transportation of the public at large. ASRTU is a common platform for members to share their experiences and best practices and know-how for dealing the various problems faced by SRTUs and to help improve the performance. In order to achieve these goals and objectives, six standing committees, namely supplies and contracts, technical and stores, personnel welfare and sports, financial management, traffic and transportation policy, MIS and computerization has been constituted. ASRTU takes up the common issues of interest of all the state road transport undertakings. ASRTU is also a platform to disseminate lessons learned by different SRTUs on a common platform to have a common understanding without the need for inventing the wheel again. ASRTU has a wealth of data of all the STUs in the country for the past many years so that it is easy to analyze these data and arrive at a common conclusion of what is the best for the STUs in the country in this challenging situation. ASRT also take up the issues of advocacy for all the STUs in the country for its common interest at large so that the commuter gets the best benefit out of the transport operations in the country. The objectives of ASRTU are to provide forum for exchange of ideas on best practices and dealing with various issues relating to SRTU members and help them to improve their performance to provide a common procurement service through ASRTU rate contract which is decided by standing committees, to facilitate testing of components to ensure quality assurance and training personnel, formulate specifications of various bus pairs besides other general items used for maintenance of bus fleet in SRTUs, to facilitate exposure to top management of SRTUs at national and international best practices through participation in conferences, study tours and workshops. To undertake advocacy for public transport issues in general and SRTUs in particular. Licensing with various ministries and other concerned key departments of Government of India and abroad. 
ASRTU has a well-established rate contract system with large, medium, small-scale auto component and bus manufacturers. Rate contracts are established for facilitating procurement of spare parts, assembly and even fully built buses which are required for routine maintenance of buses including bus body building and other bulk consumable spares like tyre lubricant oil and HST etc. Central Institute of Road Transport or CIRT is a technical organ of ASRTU established in the year 1967 for conducting training for SRTU staff and officers and testing of vehicles and automobile components. With the creation of CIRT, quality insurance of components and development of their specifications through the process of reverse engineering were brought in as an additional common facility for the members. CIRT is also a platform for training and consultancy for the benefit of STUs. ESRTU has instituted several cash award and recognition trophies to the best performing SRTUs in the field of fuel performance, vehicle productivity, tyre performance and minimum operational cost, vehicle productivity, operational cost, etc. In order to encourage road safety, consciousness among SRTUs and to promote healthy competition amongst the SRTUs and for achieving higher performance standards, ASRTU has introduced awards to the STUs with minimum accidental records. ASRTU is the National Public Transport Association representing SRTUs for a liaison between various ministries of Government of India, Planning Commission, Ministry of Urban Development and other concerned key departments of the Government of India to take up key issues regarding public transport system that need concerted and focused attention. ESRTU has 62 members including 7 associate members who constitute the backbone of mobility for the urban and rural population across the country who own and operate approximately 1.47 lakh buses and serve 70 million passengers a day, operate about 8 million kilometers per day and provide gainful employment to 0.8 million people. Out of 1,47,000 SRTU buses, 1 lakh buses are under operation in rural areas connecting to 5 lakh villages by organized bus services which are safer, reliable and affordable. Other mode of transport like railways, aviation, metros etc. requires huge investments and caters for the limited people. As compared, road transport is quite cheaper and suitable to meet any customized requirements needs without alteration in its infrastructure or in fixed operational cost. Moreover, it suits the requirements of all walks of people. The focus of public transport system is to connect people with the last mile connectivity in the urban sector. While on the other hand, in remote villages and hilly areas where large bus operations were not feasible, medium and smaller size vehicles are introduced. Public transport is committed to provide friendly access to all its commuters. Infrastructure and fleet are designed in such a manner to provide easy accessibility for people with disability. The entire efforts of road transport machinery is made so that maximum people choose the public transport for their daily commuting usage in lieu of their own private transport. Not only these basic transport to the commuters are met, but the SRTUs have also catered to the need of premium segment with world-class coaches and low-floor buses for urban cities. Transport system will remain forever, as long as humans exist, though there may be changes in technology, fuel, designs, etc. It is our endeavour to unite all stakeholders together, including SRTUs, vehicle manufacturers, auto components manufacturers, etc. to stand the expectation of public for a sustainable, effective and efficient public road transport system in our country.